it's definitely an exciting day. The first day of school for thousands of students at Aleaf ISD. It's the biggest district going back this morning and the district has a new campus for preschoolers. KPRC 2's Brittany Jeffers is there and joins us now live. Brittany, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. Certainly a lot to discuss. As you mentioned, 41,000 students here within Aleaf ISD heading back to the classroom today. This particular campus is brand new. It's for preschoolers. I got the chance to speak with some of those young students and their parents and why they say they are looking forward to spending this year in this unique setting. Good morning. We're so excited to have you. It's back to school for Aleaf ISD and for the preschoolers at Martinez Early Learning Center. It's their very first time to step foot in a classroom. Are you excited? Yes. But you won't find a traditional setting at this brand new campus. I went inside of it and it's, uh, I wish I was in pre-K again. <laughs> Walking inside, you'll see what she means. It's an immersive experience, taking interactive learning to another level. Is that we wanted something that was appropriate for students, for our four-year-olds. I spoke with the early childhood coordinator about how the classroom design encourages students to use their imagination. And we wanted something interactive. We wanted something that was hands-on, which is exactly how children that are four learn. They learn through play. Experience rooms, 12 on each side of the building, with themes like health and international district and space city, all built around pre-K standards education, like this one. The principal showing us the Gulf Coast experience. We have the shrimp boat. We have um, the kids will be able to fish here and pretend in other classrooms. They get to go to NASA to see everything. And it's really about bringing background knowledge and helping our children learn and developing vocabulary to help them be ready for kindergarten and beyond. I like it. It, it gives them that experience that they need in life. It's different. It's unique because they didn't have that when I was growing up. Tahari Gray says he thinks this will give his daughter Amaya a great start and she's ready too. What fun things do you think you'll do today? The whole thing. She and her classmates prepared for their education journey to begin. So a lot of excited little ones out here today. I'm told by the district there's about 300 students enrolled at this particular campus, but keep in mind there's 45 campuses district wide. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Brittany, thank you. It is also the first day back for students and staff in New Caney ISD, Livingston ISD, Groveton ISD, and Hull de Seta ISD.